37 años. You're 37? Yeah. Are you originally from Arizona? No. So Sonora, México. Ciudad Obregón, Sonora, México. How long have you been out here in Phoenix? 26 years. And what's your current situation right now? Are you homeless? Yeah. How long have you been on the streets for? Like two years. Two years. How do you survive out here in the streets? Oh, it's hard. It's really hard to survive in here. Yep. Is it dangerous out here or what? Yep. Mm -hmm. Tell me a little bit about what goes on out here. Ooh, a lot. Yeah. Like what? What do you want to know? Can you give me an example of what goes on out here? That's dangerous? Yeah, it is dangerous. There's a lot of people looking for fights, but like stealing your stuff. Most of it is stealing. They steal from you everything. So you're staying in a tent right now? Yeah. And you've been in that same situation for two years? Yeah. In the tent or were you in shelter? Uh, no, I was in a house. I was in a house and then um, we moved out from the house and we came here. Tell me how you Four months ago I've been, I've been staying in here for four months, but I got two years homeless. Tell me how your life was before you ended up out here in the streets. I was manager in a apartment complex. I was living, yeah. I got my apartment and everything. But I lost everything because so you were a manager at the apartment complex. Mm -hmm, where I used to live, yeah. Were they giving you like a free room or something like that, or a, a free apartment to stay in? Yeah. They were. But uh, yeah, but um, he just fired me, and I I, I ended up homeless. Yeah. How long after they they fired you, you ended up homeless on the streets? Right away, right away, they didn't have place to stay. And you don't have no family or nothing out here? No. No husband? No. Oh, well, he's in Washington. Washington. Like oh, he's in yeah. Washington? Uh-huh. What is he doing out there? Is he working? He's or? working. He's, he's already with somebody else. He's, like, he's married with somebody else. So right now yeah. it's just you and your daughter? Yeah, my daughter 15 years old. She, That's a guy trying to like start my generator. They stole my generator because I got a AC and a generator. So I keep my daughter with me over here. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody Where did brought you it. Come up on the generator. My friend bring it to me. Was it like a donation? No, a friend of mine bring it and they stole it and then he come and recover it again. Mm -hmm. So it's when I get the AC unit because I cannot have her like in the heat. But right now I don't know what they did to it that is not working. Yeah, because I don't let them charge their phones or whatever, like, yeah. yeah. You also need gas for it, right? Yeah. I collect cans, and I eat all clothes that I got, like, new clothes that I had out they gave me. Like, I sell it, and that's how I make money. Hmm? Why don't you um, try to go and look for a shelter that will Because give you I'm a from Mexico, I'm not from here. Like I'm not from here. They tried already. The police sent the human service from the city of Phoenix yeah. and they couldn't put me in a, in a shelter because I don't got no social security or any. I'm from Mexico. But your daughter is born here, right? Yes. So but she's under the age and my mom got her custody. So. Mm -hmm. Oh, so your mom has custody of your daughter right now? Yeah. Yeah. But she kicked her out from her house. But she got kicked out from her house? Mm -hmm. From your mom? Yeah. Does your daughter still go to school? Online, because how she got the custody, I cannot put her in school because I don't, I don't got no, I signed my rights to her, so I put her in sc online school. So he's going to school how online. How is it at your school? You like it? Yeah, it's better. Do you go every single day? When I have charge on my tablet, because sometimes it dies and we don't have a way to charge it, so. So you do online schooling? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, that's that's good, man. Um, yeah, at least like that, might not go to jail because she's, she need to go to school. But uh, that's all that I got right now to put her in online school. That's all that I got over here. But, like, yeah, but I want to to work. So. What's your dreams? What do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a caregiving assistant. You want to be a caregiver? Yeah. That's good, man. Do you get scared sometimes being out here on the streets? Yeah, the other day she been yeah. chased by a guy. 
I got chased by a guy the other day. He tried to attack me, started spitting on my face. Um, more things happened, but that was one of the more scary experiences that I had. We was so going to we eat. We were walking, we were going to go eat, but came towards us. He said that somebody dragged him, that somebody put something on his vein, and he said that. Uh, sorry, Veronica, somebody dragged me on my vein. He said that I, I didn't know what I was doing, but um, there's not an excuse. He's a grown ass man and he knows what he's doing. So, so it was just a random act? Yeah. Be somebody like, beat him up if you, this if morning. You want to, you go like this and just be there. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. Go grab a seat by your mom. Come here, Negra. Yeah. Come here. We're gonna win the lottery right now doing this interview and this mm -hmm. scratcher. I hope so. What so would you do with the money? Buy, a, uh, buy this load and make a lot of houses for the homeless without metal containers. You know how oh. they make the little houses? You think that's what homeless people out here need? They yeah. need more? We need help because most of these guys over here, they they, they veterans, they've been running the, in the army, in the, they've been fucking fighting for this country. They, they homeless, they living in here. They're supposed to be first. Kids and the, the people that, but they don't help them, I don't know. But do you think that the government doesn't do enough no. for people that live here? No. Me, my, me, me, my own view, point of view, is that the people that fight for this country, the people that they need the first place, like I think, because they're fighting for the country, no? Defending, so I don't know why they don't, they cannot help them. And most of them, they old, old people, like they, they need really help. I was taking care of a old man that he's from the, he was, he's a veteran and he's living in here, like. So, he need to do something for the, for those guys. Saul Ben. You don't think that if you go to like a place like you, mom, or Cass? I need a social security and I need an ID. And but I don't just know. using your daughter's papeles or no, they said security. that they cannot help me in Juman because it's, it's I don't know if it's guys that they living with their wife and sex offenders or whatever because they CBI too CBI said that they cannot help me because her okay. so they I'm waiting for the call that they gonna gave her um, this week. So but what do you need to get out of this situation? Illegal to start working and making money. So that way I can work. First thing, yeah. maybe start working? Yeah. If somebody has a job offer out there for you? I go work, I go clean houses, I do anything. Yeah, because I do anything to survive every day, like over here, like to feed her to, or everything. Now with that dog that she got, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Yeah. Yeah. If they do have a job offer or something like that, how can they contact you guys? 602-642-7438. That's do my phone number. Do you give an email better? Email? I don't got no email. Well, yeah, I got an email, but I don't know which one. What's you, your, your you give yours. email or your email? That's why I'm telling her to go to school, to don't go to, like, you go chase a man, it's not gonna take you nowhere. If you go to school, the school is gonna take you somewhere. Uh huh. If you don't wanna be in the same situation like me. She think that I'm. She is think your that daughter is already dating? No. No. I killed the motherfucker. I killed the <laughs> motherfucker. He promised. Yeah, no. It's a lot of nasty fucker. That, oh, let me tell you something. Is that your daughter or your sister? It's my daughter. Oh, she's so pretty. Like, I'm like, she's 15. So get the fuck out of here. Yeah, it's a lot of guys, yeah. Yeah, I bet. That's why I love, like, you gotta dress because she want to use shorts or whatever. No, uh, no pants. And yeah. yeah, long sleeve shirts if it's possi possible. Yeah. Can you show me how you live inside your tent? Ooh, it's a mess right now. No? Really bad mess. I got AC, I got a generator. Can you show me your generator and AC real quick? Yeah, but it's a mess over here too. So this guy over here next door is the one I give my tent, the other tent. Your and it's, yeah, my neighbors, it's all these messes from him. He's just moving in here. Ay. And then mess with the garbage over here. I don't know what they did so to my generator, a cooler and AC. You got a cooler and AC, I see yeah. that. Yeah. 
You're hooked yeah. up over here, man. I have to because my daughter. Yeah. 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 Your daughter right there. She don't want to be in camera. Huh? You can see inside if you want. Inside, you just got the mattress and. What does this do right here? Is this that is insulated, so it won't get hot. If yeah, I try to do the. Oh my God, my face. It's just a mess. It's a messy place. Eh? Yeah. And I told her that she's supposed to clean today, but yeah. And you have that light right there. What is that? A solar light. Solar power, huh? Yeah, and I got a solar generator, but I couldn't put it together, and I gave it to my mom husband, so it didn't work. All right, man. So if they are trying to get in contact with you you already gave me your number but you don't have your email um my phone is off right now but negra ben why you took my mirror ivan i need a mirror back over here yeah the mirror right there no but not right now i'm asqueroso estupido estoy en la entrevista baboso pendejo que imbécil era al rato ya que limpie mi casa Yeah, that's my neighbor. Do you guys take care of each other? Yeah, well, I take care of them. They don't take care of me. Mm -mm. I do. If someone's like out here trying to break into one of your tents, and oh. they just yell, hey. Oh, yeah, I do, but they don't do it the same thing because they stole my generator like a week ago, and I have to bring my friends so that way they recover back in half hour. Ven para acá, Saul. Ven, estupido. Ven, imbécil. Where are you gonna get the water from? If you're gonna get it from the Title Max, no, we're gonna get arrested. The police came yesterday. Don't fuck with that water. They don't want nobody there in the property. So, huh? Well, they are. They're gonna get arrested. The soon the Title on see, they're gonna get arrested. But you can have a bucket of water, but don't come and take a shower over here. No, because they're gonna bring the police to us. They already came and give the second warning. No water from the title loans oh, stealing. So the cops have been there, have been to here. Oh yeah, yeah, they've they, been coming. What did they tell you guys? That well, they came and they give us a warning because see, like him, like he come and get, get a bucket and then he go and get water, the title loan place, and uh, they call the cops and they come over here with us. And what are you gonna do when they actually tell you guys, hey, you have what five days to move out or whatever we don't, they do out here? We don't know what we're gonna do. I don't know. I don't know where we're we going. Yeah. All right. Well, hopefully we could get you some help, man. Yeah. Well, thank you for sharing your story. I really do appreciate it. Are you okay if I share this on my YouTube channel? My yes, media? you can. Yeah. Okay. Appreciate it. Mm hmm.